Today we will talk about the Sovietization of Armenia, how the Bolsheviks came to power and what changes they brought to the region. The key moment in the Red Revolution of Russia took place on November 7th in 1917, when Vladimir Lenin led a skirmish against the Tsarist Russian government. The revolution spread to Russia and as a result it changed the course of not only Russia's history but also a lot of neighboring countries and nations as well. In today's video we will look mainly at Armenia and how the Soviets impacted on its borders, culture and so on. If you find yourself enjoying this video, please consider liking and subbing to the channel. And if you are feeling absolutely fantastic, please help me reach more people by sharing this video on your social media, so your friends can become our friends. With that out of the way, let's have a look at what was Armenia's situation after World War I. Armenia as an independent state had not existed since the Middle Ages up to this point in history. The main players of the region at the time for several centuries were Russian Empire, the Ottomans and the sublime state of Iran, or Qajar Persia. The region was plagued by constant wars between the three powers, sometimes resulting in exchange of territories, loss of huge numbers of civilians, genocides, plagues and massacres. It was during this time when the Ottoman Empire carried out the Armenian, Assyrian and Greek genocides. But we will cover this topic in another separate video later on. At the end of World War I, the Ottoman Empire was defeated by the Allied powers and signed a treaty in 1918, ceding some of its territories on most fronts. During this time, the Allied powers had their vision of how the region will be divided. This was favorable to Armenians, Greeks, Kurds, but most of all the British and the French. Treaties such as Severs were signed but never ratified by the Allies. The Turkish Revolution that took place in 1919 put an end to the Allied rule over what is now Turkey. With the help of Bolsheviks, the leader of Turkish nationalist movement Mustafa Kemal Pasha aka Ataturk was able to drive out the Allies and establish what is now Turkey in 1923. You see, Lenin wanted Turkey to become communist. Not to mention, both had a common enemy, the Allies, who did not want the communism to spread any more than it already had. This unfortunate alliance between the two countries directly led Armenia to the borders it has now. When the Bolsheviks established rule in Russia, the Russian Empire ceased to exist, and the new Bolshevik government was eager to appease their new potential ally, Turkey. In 1917, shortly after the establishment of a new government in Russia, the provisional government created special Transcaucasian committee known as OZAKOM. It included Armenian Democrat Mikhail Papajanyan. It is important to note that during this time, areas such as Trapezont, Erzurum, Kars and Van regions were under Russian control. However, after Bolsheviks seized power from the provisional government and announced they will be withdrawing from the said areas, this and other issues led to the Armenians, the Georgians and the Muslims of the Caucasus to reject the Bolshevik legitimacy and declared independence. From 1801 to 1917, region was administered as a viceroyalty, known as Caucasus Viceroyalty. It had different governorates and oblasts, which also consisted of a lot of minorities in Russian Empire. Transcaucasian Democratic Federative Republic was declared independent in April 22, 1918. It was very short-lived since all member states had internal and external territorial disputes. The state lasted only a month after Georgia declared independence followed by Armenia and Azerbaijan. After the Red Revolution, on May 28, 1918, the Armenian populated territories of the disintegrated Russian Empire, known as Eastern Armenia or Russian Armenia, declared itself an independent state, which is known as the First Armenian Republic. It had a land area of 70,000 km squared and population of 1.3 million people. From day one it was plagued with humanitarian crisis from the aftermath of the Armenian Genocide. It was also forced to become involved in several armed conflicts with its neighbors caused by overlapping territorial claims. The leaders of the government belonged to the Armenian Revolutionary Federation. It bordered Democratic Republic of Georgia, the Ottoman Empire, Persia and Azerbaijani Democratic Republic. As you can see, its borders are a bit different from the current Republic of Armenia's borders. We will discuss why and how it happened in the second part of this video. A lot of research and effort goes into each topic. If you like this video, check out my other videos or visit my Instagram page for history, comics and memes. Special shout out to Akraf who also makes content on Armenian history. Check him out, link in the description. As always, thank you for watching, I'm Arminator and I hope to see you next time.